Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so before I get started, I do have to remind you I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, yes, we've had a great amount of disappointment the market is just has just dumped all over us or somebody's just dumped all over us or several somebody's have just dumped all over us. Uh, some people would blame ripples, but <clears throat> to be honest with you guys, it obviously can't just be a ripple if it is them doing this because it's across the board. Every crypto is doing uh, the exact same thing. So, you know, what I'm thinking, and I'm just going to, give my uh, my theory, whether you want to call it conspiracy or whatever. I think the big money has fully arrived into the market, it, and it, they've been there for some time now. They have the ability to control the market. However, don't despair, okay? Yeah, the price is dumping, prices are dumping, all this stuff, but they cannot keep the prices down forever. We know what everything is moving towards, we know it is cryptocurrency, good or bad. The whole world is moving towards cryptocurrency. And especially XRP. <clears throat> XRP will, I mean, without a doubt, it will be uh, in some fashion uh, worldwide or, or, or being used worldwide. So uh, that's not a worry. We're in, invested in it. And... Um, I, I do believe at some point here, we will see some moves upward. It's just inevitable. It cannot stay like this. No, none of these people that are expectant trillionaires would ever desire to keep the price this low. Uh, are they still buying in? That could be the case. Uh, th there's a, there are a lot of different theories that we can go to, but all in all, with um, the fact that the volumes back in 2018 were much lower than, than this and the price was almost four dollars and now the volumes are I mean it's just many times higher yet we're at 23 cents that in itself should it, that should prove the point that there is manipulation going on so I mean honestly nothing really to speak about there how do we move forward well Number one is my old mantra, be patient. That's it. We have to be patient enough to wait the big boys out. Yes, they have the money to, you know, do whatever the hell they want to do for the most part. But the main thing that we have to be is able to deal with all of these shenanigans going on. And when they get tired of it, when it absolutely cannot continue any longer, the price will go up. Now, the price could be down because of you know, expectations of uh, XRP being in a, in a specific role. But again, remember, it is the whole market. Um, there, there, like I said, there are so many theories that I could go into. It just uh, it really makes no sense to even try to talk about it. The main thing is it cannot continue like it is. Could the price go down even further? Yes. Could it go on for another, you know, two, three, six months? Very possible. I mean, who knows? Who knows what the catalyst will be? I would venture to believe that it may have something to do with the economy, but then again, it could be absolutely nothing. It could just be that one day we wake up and, and everything is mooning. We don't know. The market right now, because of uh, uh, the position it's in, and, and what I mean by that, there's no regulation. There's nobody overlooking you know, what's happening and holding anyone accountable. Okay. Yes, there is some some regulation involved, but nothing like, say, the stock market. 
where people have to be very careful about how they do this manipulation or how they accomplish said manipulation. It can't continue like this forever. Main thing. So right now is the time to either buy or make a decision on how you're going to spend the next however long until things turn around. Now, could that be before the end of the year? Very possible. If these, you know, narcissistic people that are doing this, if they had a soul, they might <laughs> leave the price alone or, or, or just take their fingers off of it and let it go up enough for us to have a or for everyone to have a good, good Christmas. Now, me personally, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I know the majority of you guys do. But all in all, <clears throat> we are approaching the same time period that um, uh, things were in post, well, 2017, 2018. So, it, it, we're, but the thing is, I don't think we're seeing the same price movement. I think by now, XRP was much higher. But either way, I, I have you know no um, reason to believe that it should follow the same pattern by any means. It you know just because it happened in in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen exactly like it, it it you know did now. So or rather it did then now. So guys, um, yeah, we just have to be uh, be smart. I I know. Back when I was in this uh, 2017, I had just no knowledge. Um, I was subject to pretty much everything that was going on in the market. You know, the FOMO, the uh, the FUD and, you know, the all of that selling, you know, the fear that came along with everything. You know, I, I just didn't have the knowledge that I do now. And right now, a lot of people are still going through that because they're new to the market. and um, there, there are going to be a lot of losers. There are going to be a lot of losers. I personally also don't think this is over, guys. And I, I've said this before. Now, obviously, I've had thoughts that something good was going to happen. But we're not dealing with good people that are involved in this um, in this market. We're good. We're dealing with people who have a lot of money and they don't want to see you with a lot of money. They don't want competition. They don't want bedfellows. They don't want neighbors. Okay. So they're going to try to do everything they can to make sure you stay where you are or not far from where you are right now. A lot of people don't hold the belief that there are, you know, these plans to shake everyone out. You know, hey, we all have our own thoughts and ideas. So I personally do believe there is a uh, there's at least a small plan to shake a lot of us out. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people believe that as well. A lot of you guys do. But all in all, we have to be smarter than them and we have to stay solid in our investment here. No matter what it is, no matter what crypto you are invested in. You, you have to understand, at the very least, the top 20 coins are going to experience very high uh, price levels once this bull run really gets started. The problem is, or the question is, when will that happen? And that's what we're waiting for. Now, again, tons of information, tons of uh, news coming out. We got here Ripple Effect. Mercury FX reveals new plans for XRP as Santander brings one pay FX to the U.S. Um, just and, and stories like this, not that this is necessarily just a huge groundbreaking thing. But guys, there is a ton of, of just stuff happening. And, and you can almost see you can you can really see the. Uh, the uh, waves or the, the cycles of you got your FUD and then you have your good news. You got your FUD and good news and it just cycles back and forth. But we have to be smarter 
than the people that are doing this. Like I mentioned before, and, and, and you know, I have not found that. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find that. Okay, yeah, that didn't take me long. So this article right here that I, I read, and this is, uh, does it have the year or the date? Uh, it says February 15, 2013, when this, this was actually published. But it's referring to uh, something that was written back in the 1930s. OK, now I will uh, I'll go ahead and put this in the. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and put this in the in the description below. Um, hold on. I'm trying to see if they have a link to the actual. I don't know. It may just be in here. I can't remember if I went to a different link and read it, uh, but all in all, guys. It is extremely, yeah, I think it's just here. So I'm going to include this link in the description. Uh, but check this out. It's very, very interesting. And, and the thing is, they it basically tells you exactly how they control the markets. And this is just one way they do it. If they have the, if they, if, if they're, if the people that are doing it actually have the money to carry it all out, then I guess they'll do it themselves. But this is another uh, way that the markets are controlled and, and something like crypto being that again there's the regulation is just scant if 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 existing at all um it's a lot easier to do just crazy stuff guys so is if you know the tools that are enemies and yes they are our they are our enemies they you know they call us goyim they call us cattle. They call us, uh, uh, you know, useless eaters. Anything pretty much derogatory that you can think of that would include uh, or, or that would in insinuate they don't want you to live. They don't feel like you have a, uh, a right to life on this planet and a good life. They use it against you. They, they say those things about you about us okay so we have to be wise to their shenanigans we have to be aware of how they use these tools to afflict and affect us it's not hard the number one thing though we have to be patient Patience will overcome a lot of the things that they use against us. Don't be, t don't get taken in by fear. Don't, uh, don't FOMO. FOMO will cause you to buy high, and then you'll see <laughs> your investment slowly lose value, just like a lot of people are seeing right now. But even those of us, because we're all essentially, we are all in the, uh, what would you call it, in the red right now, I think. Our investments are not worth as much as they were, I would say, at the beginning of the year or even a year ago. So just, oh man, just make sure that you, you plant this one idea in your head. Even these people, and I'm, I think I'm stretching it by calling them people, but even these people have to, uh, they have to let things go. They have, they, they're going to have to let it go at some point. They are losing money as well. Or I guess I should say they're not seeing the potential that they want to see. They can just endure it longer than we can and don't get me wrong guys it's not just about this stuff um, as a reason why the price is low it's not just this there are a lot of other things going on in the world uh, currencies around the world are about to re uh, revaluate um, there's just a lot going on the dollar is about to lose its power most likely every pretty much every company company every country in the world 
is about to convert to some type of digital currency. And it's very likely, um, you know, a couple currencies, maybe the Chinese yuan, uh, this new digital dollar, dollar or, you know, some of the bigger currencies will be backed by gold. But either way, um, guys, things will not stay like this forever. We just have to be patient enough to wait them out. So anyway, guys, um, one other thing I do, I did want to talk about, and I'm not sure if you guys uh, <laughs> uh, had a chance to check it out. That is boom. The Tesla Cybertruck. Now, I grew up in the 80s, guys. Okay. I was in high school and, and junior high school throughout the 80s. So those are some formative years. And looking back, this very much reminds me of what people thought of as futuristic. This, this, I mean, when I first saw this thing come out, I was like, what in the heck? This is straight out of the 80s. And to be honest with you, I was like, it's so damn ugly. But after, you know, getting over that initial shock of seeing such shapes and things, it made me realize that this is simply... You know, this is just old school uh, design work right now. I've even held the thought that, you know, Elon could be screwing with us. It's very, very possible. I don't think so, but it's, it's possible. However, after looking at this a little bit longer, um, you know, something like this, I think we were expecting from him. But like, I, like he said, he wanted he was going to bring something totally different in this is too much like current versions of you know current trucks even though it's it's it i think it looks better me personally uh this what i'm showing now however looking at this it is not beautiful by any means is it striking yes is it different absolutely would it be an intention grabber yes very much so. Now, whether you like it or hate it or whatever, I, I, me, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. You know, I don't know if I would drive it or whatever, but you know what? Hey, just for the attention factor, factor for the, you know, for the shock factor, I might very well get something like get this thing. But either way, um, I, what I find, what I would find extremely funny is if due to what Tesla and de depending on the popularity of this thing of whether people you know once it actually hits the roads and uh, people in, and it gets out there gets in people's hands if the design language starts to change looking more like something we see here wouldn't that be <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? I don't I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, it would be I think it would be very ironic considering um, how far we've come to, you know, seeing some of the designs that we see now. I have to give it to to uh, Elon. He he stepped way out on that limb, way out. And considering everything that's uh, involved, or rather, all the um, the features and the uh, the capabilities of the truck, uh, you know, it's it's really very impressive. It's just the body is, you know, it's different. It's very different. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can only laugh. You can only, every time I look at it, I just immediately I'm thinking 80s. I'm thinking when I was a teenager and you know I'm I'm thinking about what I would what I would have said if I saw this then. It would not have been uh the shock that it is now, I know. 
<laughs> but uh, guys, if you if you get a chance, you might want to check out the uh, the reveal and all of that. It was pretty funny, especially uh, when they went to uh, when the guy hit the windows with the steel ball. Uh, I, you know, Elon was definitely not expecting that. But either way, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to hear or, you know, what I should talk about or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. Um, and also just comment, just the comment. If you, if you have any, any uh, you know, opinions about anything. Uh, for now, like I said, guys, uh, we're going to have to help each other through these times because, you know, I, uh, like I said, it's, I, I think it's going to get even rougher. But anyway, guys, thank you for your time. Until, ne until next time, this has been Mr. Freecoiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.